The Building Analyst Standard dedicates seven of its 17 pages to combustion safety. In BPI 1200, it takes up 14 of the 31 pages in the main body of the document. It's also the subject of two of the annexes. Clearly, this is a major priority of these standards. There are important differences between the two. BPI 1200 has removed some of the requirements that are in the BA standard, added some new ones, and changed the details of numerous others. In this lesson, I'll try to summarize the key differences. We'll start by comparing the inspection requirements, then go into the testing procedures. The building analyst standard includes little detail regarding visual inspections to identify combustion safety issues. That doesn't mean that those inspections are not expected to be done. Instead, they were somewhat implied. The building analyst field guide has long included, for example, a thorough inspection of appliance venting, but the BA standard doesn't detail what that inspection should be. BPI 1200, on the other hand, clarifies the expectations in detail. Here's a summary of the items that are explicitly required by each standard. BPI 1200 requires a detailed inspection of the entire fuel delivery system, while the BA standard only mentions evaluating gas flex connectors. BPI 1200 clearly states how to inspect the combustion appliance zone for inadequate clearance to combustible materials, which is not mentioned in the BA standard. And BPI 1200 requires a detailed evaluation of unvented appliances, including sizing and certification info from the data plate. The BA standard only requires that these appliances be identified and disabled prior to weatherization work. On the other hand, the BA standard requires that the house be inspected for the presence of carbon monoxide detectors, and this is not included in BPI 1200. BPI 1200 requires an assessment of vented appliance wiring as well as heat exchangers, cabinets, and filter housings on forced air heating systems. The BA standard only requires a heat exchanger inspection. BPI 1200 requires a detailed assessment of the venting system, including pitch, supports, sizing, condition, and appropriate handling of common vents shared by multiple appliances. None of this is mentioned in the BA standard, though, as I mentioned earlier, it is implied in other BA documents. BPI 1200 and the BA standard both address range safety, but the focus is on different details. Let's take a closer look at a few of the relevant sections. BPI 1200 provides detailed guidance about how to properly inspect a natural gas or LP gas supply system. This list will probably be very useful to programs and auditors in training. BPI 1200 provides even more detailed guidance about how to properly inspect an oil supply system. This is also a useful addition and can form the basis for a comprehensive inspection checklist. And BPI 1200 even provides a detailed description of how an auditor should inspect a combustion appliance zone for fire and explosion hazards. It includes criteria about water heaters in garages, and of course it specifies the actions to be taken when issues are present. As mentioned in an earlier lesson, BPI 1200 and the BA standard address unvented heaters very differently. The BA standard has language that requires some interpretation, but it seems to imply that these appliances must be removed or disabled if weatherization work will be done. BPI 1200 takes a more systematic approach. It requires recommendation of removal of any unvented heaters that are not listed to ANSI Z21.11.2 which requires that they have an oxygen depletion system to shut them down in dangerous situations. It also requires recommendation of removal of models larger than 6,000 BTUs per hour in bathrooms, 10,000 BTUs per hour in bedrooms, and 40,000 BTUs per hour in other areas of the house. BPI 1200 also requires that auditors inform clients of the potential dangers of these heaters. In addition, it requires testing of them, which we'll discuss later in this lesson. BPI 1200 requires that a number of details be inspected on vented appliances, including wiring and integrity of ducted system components. The only one of these noted in the BA standard is the furnace heat exchanger inspection. BPI 1200 also requires detailed inspection of venting systems, including vent pitch, proper support and terminations, presence of liners, and assessment of condition for rust and deterioration. 
None of this information is detailed in the BA standard. Again, this could serve as a useful list for creating an inspection checklist. BPI 1200 also details potential problem areas in common venting systems, where a single vent serves multiple combustion appliances. And again, none of this information is detailed in the BA standard. Both the Building Analyst Standard and BPI 1200 contain extensive requirements for testing combustion appliances for safe operation. However, there are some important differences. In general, the testing requirements are simpler in BPI 1200 because some of the testing has been removed. However, some testing's also been added, plus some procedures have changed and action levels have been modified. We'll go through all of this in detail, but let's start with a summary. Ambient carbon monoxide measurements are required in both standards, indoors, outdoors, and in the CAS during the entire testing period. However, the action levels have changed. BPI 1200 requires ambient combustible gas level measurements that weren't included in the BA standard. Both standards require that natural gas and LP gas lines must be checked for leaks. Both standards require that each combustion appliance zone be set up in a worst case condition prior to testing, but BPI 1200 eliminates the depressurization limits that are included in the BA standard. Both standards require that appliances be tested for spillage and undiluted carbon monoxide under worst case conditions. However, the time limits for spillage are different, and CO is measured as the calculated air-free level for most appliances in the BPI 1200 standard. The BA standard required a draft pressure measurement. This test has been eliminated in BPI 1200. The BA standard also requires testing under natural conditions if a failure occurs under worst case conditions. This has been eliminated in BPI 1200. BPI 1200 requires testing of undiluted carbon monoxide in unvented appliances, while BA simply requires that they be removed or disabled. And both standards require that ovens be tested for carbon monoxide generation. That's a lot of changes. Let's go through them one at a time. The BA standard is very clear about ambient carbon monoxide. If the level ever goes above 35 parts per million, testing must stop and the building must be evacuated until levels drop back down below the limit. This is stated in various ways in four different places in the standard. BPI 1200 has more complicated action levels. A reading of 70 parts per million is considered an emergency, requiring evacuation of the building and notification of emergency services. Readings between 36 and 69 parts per million require the auditor to advise the occupant that elevated levels exist and that they should open doors and windows. The auditor must also recommend that the homeowner turn off all possible sources of CO and contact a qualified professional to repair the problem. Readings of 9 to 35 parts per million are still considered to be an issue. The auditor must notify the homeowner that CO has been detected and recommend that all possible sources of CO be checked by a qualified professional, but they don't need to recommend turning them off immediately. Both BPI 1200 and the BA standard require testing for gas leaks and verifying any leaks with a bubble solution. Here's the wording from the BA standard. And here's the wording from BPI 1200. It has more descriptive detail, but the basic procedure is the same. Both standards require that repairs to any leaks be included in the work scope. As I mentioned earlier, BPI 1200 adds a requirement that the ambient gas level in the house be measured to ensure that gas leaks aren't creating an explosive condition. The standard states that if the level exceeds 10% of the lower explosive limit, the auditor shall inform the homeowner slash occupants of the unsafe condition and advise evacuation of the home. The auditor shall leave the home and the appropriate emergency services and fuel gas providers shall be notified from outside the home. Both BPI 1200 and the BA standard require that the house be set up in a worst case condition prior to testing vented combustion appliances. The procedures in the two standards are very similar. In my opinion, BPI 1200 is clearer. It also shortens the process a bit, simplifying decisions about whether doors should be left open or closed. 
but the procedures in either standard should get the house close enough to the true worst case conditions for worthwhile test results. The BA standard requires that once the worst case has been achieved, the depressurization must be compared to a table of limits for different appliance configurations. If it's too high, the contractor must take steps to resolve it. This step is not included in BPI 1200. The assumption is presumably that if the appliance functions correctly under worst case conditions, the actual pressure is not important. You may not agree, and it certainly doesn't hurt to look at the number and think about what it means, but there is no limit table in BPI 1200. Both BPI 1200 and the BA standard require spillage testing of all vented appliances under worst case conditions. The BA standard sets a time limit of 60 seconds for all appliances. If spillage continues beyond that time, the appliance fails. BPI 1200 increases the time limit. For water heaters, it's two minutes. For heaters, it depends on whether the vent is warm or cold. The terms and definitions section of the standard clarifies what that means. Cold vent means that the heater is not operational because it's not the heating season. The time limit in this case is five minutes. Warm vent means that the heater is currently operating to keep the house warm. In this case, the limit is the same as for water heaters, two minutes. The BA standard requires that the vent draft pressure be measured for all natural draft appliances, and it specifies the appropriate location for the test. The required draft pressure depends on the outdoor air temperature at the time of the test. An equation is included in the standard. BPI 1200 does not include this test. Presumably, the assumption is that if an appliance passes the worst case spillage test, then the draft pressure must be acceptable. Both BPI 1200 and the BA standard require testing the undiluted carbon monoxide generated by vented appliances under worst case operating conditions. The BA standard doesn't state it explicitly, but the test results are as measured, meaning the actual concentration of carbon monoxide in those undiluted flue gases. And testing is to be done once the appliance has reached steady state operating conditions. BPI 1200 includes similar testing requirements. However, for most appliances, the level should be measured as air-free carbon monoxide. This is an adjusted CO level that compensates for excess air fed to the burner that dilutes the CO in the flue. Most combustion analyzers can calculate and display CO in this way. BPI 1200 also includes an equation in the terms and definitions annex that allows auditors to manually calculate air-free CO. Unlike BA, which specifies a steady state measurement, BPI 1200 specifies that undiluted CO measurements be taken at the end of the time limit set for the spillage test. So that's two minutes for water heaters and heaters with warm vents, and five minutes for heaters with cold vents. The BA standard includes a requirement that any appliance that fails the spillage or CO test under worst case conditions be retested under natural conditions to help diagnose the reason for the failure. BPI 1200 does not include this requirement. Both standards require testing undiluted CO levels on direct vent appliances by measuring at the exterior termination. BPI 1200 adds the phrase, if the outlet of the exhaust is safely accessible, so you don't have to climb up on the roof to get a measurement. The building analyst standard details a specific testing order when multiple appliances share a vent. Some of the language is conflicting, but the procedure on page 12 seems to indicate that if the appliances are operating properly, the smallest appliance should be tested first, then other appliances should be tested in order of BTU rating, leaving the smaller appliances running. If any appliance fails testing, they should all be retested alone under natural conditions, allowing the flue to cool between tests. BPI 1200 states that all appliances should be fired in order of increasing BTU per hour input capacity, and that larger appliances should be tested with all smaller appliances operating simultaneously. There's no requirement to ever test the appliances independently, even if a failure occurs. As I mentioned earlier in the course, while the BA standard simply requires that no unvented appliances operate in the living space, 
BPI-1200 requires testing of these appliances to determine if they require repair or removal. BPI-1200 also requires that gas fireplaces be tested for carbon monoxide generation. This includes both fireplaces that were manufactured to burn gas and wood fireplaces that have a gas log set installed in them. For these fireplaces, as well as for unvented heaters, testing is to be done after five minutes of operation. Both standards require testing of ovens to determine how much carbon monoxide they generate. Here's the procedure in the building analyst standard. It's pretty simple and straightforward. Here's the procedure in BPI 1200. It's a bit more detailed, but the process is very similar. In both standards, the oven cavity must be checked for debris and the CO level checked at the flue after five minutes of operation at a high temperature setting. Now let's take a look at the action levels in the two standards. They're configured differently, in part because of the different scopes of the two documents. Remember, the BA standard is aimed at contractors who are actually making changes to houses. BPI 1200 is aimed at auditors who are only recommending changes to houses. Here's the table for vented appliances from the BA standard. It sets action levels based on a combination of the spillage and CO test results. There are three different CO thresholds, 25, 100, and 400 parts per million, and the spillage results are evaluated both under worst case and natural conditions. The building analyst standard has different thresholds and required actions for ovens. The numbers are similar though at 100 and 300 parts per million. BPI 1200 takes a different approach. There are different limits for each appliance type, but there's only a single limit for each. If the measurement is below the limit, no action is needed. If it's above, then action must be taken. As you can see, most of these limits are air-free CO. But for a few appliances, like ovens and gas fireplaces, the limits are as measured. But this table only sets the thresholds. It doesn't describe the action that must be taken if that level is exceeded. The actions are listed in Annex D of the standard. Here's the table of action levels for spillage failure. It requires the auditor to diagnose the cause of the spillage to determine the appropriate corrective action. Of course, that can be a challenging task. It may require further analysis of the system by the auditor or further evaluation by a qualified specialist. And here's the table of carbon monoxide action levels. It's shorter and simpler than the spillage table. If the CO level exceeds the threshold, the auditor should recommend that the appliance be immediately repaired by a qualified professional. Based on this review, it's clear that there are significant differences in the combustion safety evaluation procedures in BPI 1200 and the building analyst standard. In general, the building analyst standard contains less detail. This is especially true regarding visual inspection procedures. However, the BA standard requires more extensive testing of vented combustion appliances. The testing procedures in BPI 1200 are more streamlined than those in the BA standard. Several steps are eliminated, but this newer standard does add some new testing and it provides more detailed guidance to auditors about conducting visual inspections.